Welcome to Taipei Scooter Style. On this episode, Taiwan Scooter History, we learn about the role of scooters in Taiwan's culture over the last 30 years. This video is part one of a three-part series. The entire journey heads from Xindian down to Xinju County along the coast. In this first part, we'll be heading from Xindian to Dashi in Taoyuan County, where we'll see a temple festival taking place. Uh, my first bike was um, 15 years old. Uh, we spent a whole summer vacation, a couple of friends went illegal, illegally working in some local factories, uh, built up stuff, and we earned like 10,000 and tea almost. Then I got myself an 11 years old Vespa. And I thought it was kind of cool, you know, because it makes you feel like you're a man and you're not just a boy anymore. But maybe 1980 to 85, it's where the cheap plastic scooters started getting popular. Mm. And it just because the economy boot in as well. Mm. So transportation and, you know, many people needed that kind of convenience. But before that, I think the only scooter in Taiwan was popular was Vespa. And people like Vespa because the, the idea, the image of Vespa is like being gentleman. Because you can wear it properly, such as you can wear a suit, put a briefcase, and, you know, on your scooter. So when the mopeds started to, to show like 50cc, 100cc, the other thing for us is that's almost like a toy. And there wasn't a strict law, such as the driving without license or without helmets. You pretty much do whatever you want. So for many boys, the first experience on scooters is usually in junior high school. I remember from 1980-something, there's a really popular scooter called uh, Honda Minliu Ipai. It's a 100cc and it wasn't built just for convenience. It was built like for fancy, for cool. So you can see all the young guys to try to buy one, you know, a new Honda 100 and put in a personal stickers, uh, different colors in his own bike. It's weird, but that also started the Taiwan that is by gang, by club. It's the first time ever the Taiwan started to have like young people go cruise around on bikes, uh, you know, become uh, bike gangs, bike friends, you know. Before the plastic scooter was popular, actually for the local people, most local people, especially people working with their bikes, they don't like plastic scooters. They don't think it's reliable. They think it's plastic, it's easy to break down. They don't even like Vespa. So you get gas people, rice delivers, you get all kinds of people work with their bikes that usually that a solid, solid cross bike. You know, could be an old Suzuki or old Kawasaki. It'll never break down. It's just a pure, simple machine. I think the, the short history of a scooter is, a, you know, belongs to people like me, 45 years old, you know. You just see it happen, but most people don't even think about it. 